Hey guys, Jack Pugs from Tricky Tree TV, and today, guys, it's another match day vlog. It's Nottingham Forest versus Hull City. And guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, it's really appreciated. And like the video as well if you enjoy. Without further ado, guys, let's go to the city ground. Alright, Benno, score prediction today? Uh, I think it's going to be 2 1. Who's going to get the goals? Uh, I think Joe Lodley's going to get one. I think Ben Osborne's due a goal now, to be honest. And I think for Hull, it's going to be uh, Jared Bowen. It's going to be a close game, innit? Uh, but yeah, anyway, come on you Reds. It's too boring half on the worst half I've seen this season. Uh, so yeah, come on, boys. Oh, it's rolling in from the trunk. My design is always to be all sitting ground. Come on, buddy! Come on, buddy! Come on, buddy! Come on! Come on! Got a penalty. I don't think it should have been a penalty, but I think Molly's having it. Hopefully, no grabber. the game we played brilliantly um, I thought Ben Osborne was going to struggle against Jack Bowie but he's a good player he stood up he did well and I'm proud of him thoughts on Villa as well I think we'll get three points there yeah or, over here or a 5-5 five, five draw over here yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm back after that absolutely brilliant brilliant win uh, Nottingham Forest 3 Hall City 0 to be completely honest guys, the first half was one of the boringest first halves and boring game of football that I've seen in a very, very long time, you know. We never really got into the game. Hall City were really boring to watch as well. But second half, you know, I know Miranda because of the game, so I'm thinking that he might have gone in the tunnel and just given them the right kick up the, um, you know, because second half we came out and we turned to a completely different side. But the afternoon started properly when Daryl Murphy came off and Jao Carvalho replaced him. You know, fans were singing like they always do for his name in the fifth minute, the seventh minute. Everyone was singing for Carvalho. And when he came on, you know, Jesus, it was emotional. It was very emotional because it's just Carvalho, you know. The fans have stuck with him. You could tell by his celebration how thankful he was to the fans. Because you know? I don't know one fan that doesn't sing his name in the ground, you know. He's an absolute legend to the club. And then Kareem Ansarifard got a goal as well. Um, and in my opinion, he is a bit of a meme. But after the game today, I'm actually really starting to respect him. Uh, you know, when he first came in, I was really unsure. I thought it was going to be another striker. Another Rafat Jabbar, another Jamal Abdoun. Kareem held the ball up so, so well all game, you know. Obviously, he did get a yellow card. It was a bad challenge. Uh, but, you know, he has a lot of integrity, a lot of aggression in him. And he took his goal very, very well, you know. It came off the post at some speed, you know, and it was a good finish. And then Joe Lloyd took the penalty. I think we found a new penalty taker. Guys, next game is Aston Villa at home. They're playing Birmingham City, obviously. They're big rivals, the second city derby. They're playing them tomorrow. I'm going to be sitting in A block as well. That's pretty much if Forest fans or anyone doesn't know. Uh, that's the biggest time where all the atmosphere is. That and Lower Bridgeford, so I can't wait to get the vlog out. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. It's really, really appreciated. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of March. We're currently on 350 as I speak, so hopefully we can do that. But guys, it's been Jack Pugs from Tricky Trees TV, and I'll see you very soon. Forest till I die.